Hey, what's up, guys? This is a quick conclusion video to the Private Blog Network Mastery um, course, and I just want to make this quick video as a wrap up of what you've learned so far and as a quick review. And once again, I'd like to thank you for purchasing this course, and please feel free to email support if you have any questions whatsoever. So, to get on with it, uh, what you have learned in this course is how to build a solid private blog network. You watched the intro video, of course. Uh, you learned about my top secret sources of buying domains. To quickly wrap up, um, the top secret sources would be GoDaddy domains. My favorite would be BuyPR. And those are the two I cover, or the two main ones I cover in the video. What to, and um, there are many more, oh, going back to the buying domains, there are many more sources you can always experiment with and whatnot, but BuyPR is by far my favorite and GoDaddy is coming in as a close second. And I also go over the tools that I use to find these domains such as DomCop and RegisterCompass.org and how I think that you should get a good count at both of them. Just see which one works out better for you, which one you like better, and get a paid account there. What to look for? In the what to look for video, I basically broke down my requirements for a domain with the trust flow and the citation flow of around 10 and the fact that the ratio of trust flow to citation flow should be around one to one. If like one is greater, it's significantly greater than the other, it usually means there's been some SEO done in the past. I also went over the anchor text ratio, how that needs to be a natural anchor text ratio. And I also covered how domains that are the name of a company or the name of a person work best rather than like cheapcarloans.info or something like that where the domain name clearly alludes to the fact that it's been bought for SEO purposes or spam purposes. How to get relevant domains in the update video, I believe I just covered most of that a few seconds ago but then again um, I go over um, my sources such as DomCop, Register Compass and how to use them better to get niche relevant domains. How to find hosting, I go over my favorite hosting method, Smart SEO Hosting, and how to set them up with separate A class IP addresses. NYC class and B class IPs will not work due to the fact that they're still in the same quadrant of the internet, if you will, and A class IPs are totally different. PBN site setup, I tell you how to get the I tell you my favorite WordPress plugin which automatically puts a privacy policy and the terms of service on your site. All you have to do is input your URL, your address, and basic information like that. It just fills in the blank and creates pages on your site. And how to embed a YouTube video, also have an outbound link to a high authority site such as Wikipedia so your site looks, looks more natural to Google and it won't get banned or flagged or manually flagged by Google. Um, PBN Secure Site Setup. This video was a short one, but I personally don't use this method, but I know a lot of people who do. And this is basically going on Wayback Machine and installing themes and use the, you, like trying to emulate the site to the best of your abilities as to how it was before it got dropped. This takes a lot more time, it's a lot harder, but some people feel like, some people outsource this, and just, or some people just feel like this time is worth it in the long run. I also go over how many, the next video I go over how, like, how to use your PPN with other backlinks to rank, go over how many web 2.0s you should use, social signals, press releases. I also tell you how many um, private blog network links you should build to your money site like around 7 in the first week and once it starts ranking the first page like ease up on it, do around 2 to 5 and then social signals, always have your social signals drip fed by a person on Fiverr or any other source that you feel like feel free and of course the conclusion video which is this once again hopefully you guys remember all this stuff, if not, make sure you watch the videos again if you have any questions, and if your questions are not as answered in the video, feel free to email support. That's it guys, thank you for watching this course once again.